the stars come to shine when it's dark From so far away, show us where we are What makes the sun go to sleep every night And what's it dreaming of? I wonder Sky is sometimes hides behind the clouds Maybe it's just like me A little bit scared of heights Why does the rain always keep on pouring down When it's grey outside It really makes me wonder Yeah, it makes me wonder Welcome back to the vlog. It is a Thursday morning and I thought I would just take you through my entire day, my morning routine, my night routine. Today I need to order groceries. Um, I have, I'm recording a podcast this afternoon. Might go to the gym, I don't know, we'll see. But right now I am on the edge of my morning routine. You, literally what I do in the morning and I feel very blessed to be able to have this as my morning routine because 28, 29 years of my life. I would be waking up early and rushing out of the house. I never woke up early enough to have time for myself. And like I had always just dreamed about working for myself and being able to have like a slow morning where I just sat and drank my coffee. So that's what I've made my morning routine habits. I get Willow to go potty, I feed Willow, I make myself coffee, then I sit on the couch and I usually catch up on TikTok and Instagram, um, which is, someone's having their yard done. I don't know if you can hear that. Leaf blowers. The leaf blower problem in America is insane. Um, yeah, so I try to read and not be on my phone in the mornings, like read and drink my coffee, but my compulsions for social media is usually stronger. But I usually will like post on Instagram, reply to comments and stuff, um, and just like chill and enjoy the morning, put on music. And I am so grateful that that's my morning and I have to remind myself to be grateful. A lot of times I forget because I think sometimes my life feels um, kind of boring, not exciting. I feel kind of lame that I don't have like a lot going on necessarily. And then I remind myself how much I hated having to like, I for five, six years, I drove an hour to and from work in traffic and I'm just like li literally don't even have to leave the house anymore. So I feel very grateful that I can share my life with you guys and maybe inspire you or just like feel cozy when you're watching this content. I don't know, is that out of touch? Anyways, yeah, I'm a lucky bitch because I get to just sit here. It's like 10 a.m. And I'm just drinking some coffee and dicking around on social media, honestly. I do not have enough discipline um, and structure in my days. And that also leads me to have like, I beat myself up about it a lot because it's like, oh, wow, I just wasted two hours sitting on the couch scrolling on social media because I don't have anyone else to be accountable to. It's just myself. And obviously when I had a boss, I obviously had to be in the office before 9 a.m and I had something like holding me accountable, whereas now I can just sit on the couch until 10 a.m. So like sometimes I'm like, oh, I'm so lucky. And sometimes I'm like, oh, I suck because I should be like sitting at my desk. But anyways, yeah, this is my day. There are always things that I could be doing that I'm putting off pretty much. I did just post a little how to style bangs tutorial. I'm still trying to figure out like I want my content to be fun and relatable but also I still want to I want to be able to create like pretty aesthetic videos and I'm still trying to figure out how to make things pretty and aesthetic. I feel like anything I shoot in my bathroom I hate because I don't really have a freaking bathroom. It's like a nook in my bedroom 
So like behind me, you can see my bed. It's like, and then I'm like, I need a new house. My, I can't make pretty content unless I have a new house. Like, I don't know. What the heck? Alfalfa. I'm just rambling like this is my diary and I probably won't put any of this in the actual video because I honestly just sound out of touch and annoying. I did just get a comment like six days ago and the person said, I work an actual job and have to get up at 3.30 in the morning and you're talking about how hard it is to have four social media accounts. We are not the same. And to that I was like, can't people have their own struggles without everything having to be compared to whether it's better or worse than someone else's? Like, am I not, I'm torn because I get it. Like me complaining about having four social media accounts is, I understand how it can be like annoying when you're, if you're struggling and you have to wake up at three in the morning to get to work every day and work for 10 hours a day and drive home in traffic. And like, I get that. But am I not allowed to struggle with things as well? And I can keep those struggles to myself, but I think... I've always been very honest on my social media accounts about the things that I'm struggling with and I'm going to continue to be honest about the things that I'm struggling with. Mostly it's a lot of mental struggle. I think that being a content creator is the best and easiest job in the world. But the place that it is hard is like on your mental health. I always thought that once I became a full-time content creator and was able to quit my job that I would be so happy. You know, like you, you have these big goals and you're like, once I get there, I'm going to be so happy. I'm never, I'm going to be like, I'm never going to complain about anything else again. And then like, I think my mental health has been worse than it's ever been being a full-time content creator. Not only is there like always constant like hate, people think that they can like comment anything that they want on your videos and sometimes it's hard not to get offended by stuff like that. But also it's it's hard, especially like I have ADHD, it's hard to stay on track and to get stuff done and to have discipline and to not constantly feel like I'm not doing enough. I constantly am beating myself up for not doing enough because I'm watching all of my peers on social media and it seems like they all have their shit together and I'm nowhere near having my shit together and that's where a lot of my like mental turmoil comes from but I'm sitting on my couch at 10 a.m and I do this every single day like I know that this is the literally the easiest job but still I have a lot of um insecurities I have a lot of anxiety I have, I suffer with depression every once in a while and I'm open about those struggles. So, I mean, if watching a content creator's like day in the life upsets you, then don't watch it, right? Am I, am I wrong there? I don't know. I want to be able to share the things that I'm struggling with because when people don't share, I assume that they are living the perfect life and it makes me feel bad about myself, you know? So... So I will continue sharing my struggles. And today in the past few days, I've been just feeling like I'm not good enough. I'm gonna start my period in like a week. So I think I'm in my luteal phase where my self-esteem just completely tanks. And I just feel like everything I do is not good enough. Um, and so then I'm just like, well, I'm not even gonna bother doing it. I haven't, well, I did post on Instagram this morning, but before that I hadn't posted for like four days. <laughs> And then I start feeling bad about not posting. Like, hello, this is your only job. It's not that hard to fucking post on Instagram. But like, I didn't like any of the content I was making. I didn't like any of the ideas I had. And that is the sort of thing that I struggle with. Obviously, I'm not having to be accountable to like some dick ass fucked up boss, which I used to. Um, I'm not having to like sit my ass in a at a desk for 40 hours. I'm not having to do manual labor for 40 hours a week, like, or plus. Um, I'm not having to take care of sick people and dying people. I'm not having to, I mean, the list goes on, but some, I still feel sad sometimes at the end of the day, unfortunately. I didn't think that I would, but I do. So now is the time I'm gonna start getting ready for the day. I just took a shower yesterday. Let's take off this pimple patch, see what's 
what we're working with. So I've had, I got like a cystic pimple on my forehead. I feel like it's been the main character in like my past three vlogs. I've had it for like a month and it's been like slowly going down, but these pimple patches, these are actually supposed to lighten, oh, yeah, it feels like it's gone. These pimple patches have like little um, pokey, little tiny like pokes in them that's supposed to like actually get into the skin and then get like the medication into the actual pimple and flatten the cystic acne or the cystic pimple and like lighten the scar. It's so fucking annoying. Okay, so I use the La Roche Posay Hydrating Gentle Cleanser. I've been using it for like six months now. Um, I also really love the Versed Cleansing Balm when I have makeup on. I ran out though, I need to get more. Um, but I've tried like so many different face cleansers because I thought I needed something special to get rid of my acne. And turns out you just need something simple and gentle. My dermatologist recommended that and I've been using it ever since. And then I also do a Power 28 SOS spray. It has hypochlorous acid in it, which is supposed to like kill the acne causing bacteria on your face. So like, I like to spray this on my face a couple times a day. It really helps, especially with all the little small pimples that I usually get, like not the cystic ones, but like the little annoying things that just pop up all over my face. When I use this, it really keeps it away. Also do an eye cream. I definitely notice a difference in like the fine lines underneath my eye when I'm keeping it, this area moisturized. And the Biosance one is very gentle. I've also been doing a vitamin C serum. I feel like that also helps with acne and it's just like gonna help brighten dark spots and acne scars. And then I do a moisturizer and sunscreen. Also my pajamas are from Cozy Earth. If you go to CozyEarth.com or whatever, um, if you use my code DEVIN40, you can get 40% off your purchase. These, I think they're like the bamboo material. The softest thing I've ever felt. It's soft and stretchy and I was never like a pajama set like with buttons and a collar type of girl. Like I always thought it was kind of silly until I got these pajamas and now I'm obsessed. I want all of them. Um, and I just think they're really cute. This sunscreen, I talked about it last time, but it's my current obsession. I love the little glow it gives my skin and it smells like banana, so. I don't know what I wanna wear today. I feel like I'm sick of all my clothes. Most days I literally just wear a big t-shirt and shorts, but I'm filming today. I have a reason to dress up. I don't know. Ooh, maybe um, I'll do my bodysuit thing with this over it. I'm gonna try to do my hair with this guy. Yeah, it's very similar size. They're a bit more oval than a kiwi. I think a kiwi is a bit more round. Yeah. Fijo is ovalish. It's hard to describe. And look, I, I mean, yeah. you've attempted mm. to like gift things. Yeah. And yeah, there's a donut issue. My wife is their most popular flavor in New Zealand. They couldn't get in. Wow. So you've never heard of this, the pineapple guava? See a fruit fly Never. just sitting on a wall or just relaxing. They're seasonal, so they're not all year round. But at a certain time of the year, they are just everywhere. They're falling from the sky off these trees. Yeah. And you just... Wait, kiwis. Are you calling this the kiwi fruit? No, did I call it kiwi just then? Yeah. Oh, I meant Fijo. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, my God. Because earlier when you said the kiwi fruit is your favorite, you meant a kiwi fruit. I meant a kiwi fruit. So, I got a new shower head. It's yellow and it comes with like all these little accessories. So I'm gonna finish putting that on and hopefully it's cute. Look at it. So cute with my shower curtain. The feature was what's your favorite fruit? I'm annoyed because one of the insides of the nails, like this part, got stripped. 
like why is it so easy to fuck up the shape so now how am i ever going to take this off without ripping it off the wall if this isn't able to be unscrewed I love the water pressure that comes out. It's like a hard mist. You can change the settings, but that one is called cloud burst and it literally feels like a cloud is bursting on you. Like, I love that part about this. And I think it is so cute. This is me. I have to record a podcast in 15 minutes and I still haven't eaten anything, so I need to do that. I'm done recording, guys. We did two, we did one full episode. And then we did one full Patreon episode, and then we did a Patreon Q&A. So three hours takes a lot of time for very little money, but that's okay. Cause it feels like just chatting with my friends for three hours. So now it's 3.30. I'm trying to decide what I'm gonna do. Um, what I'm gonna do for dinner. Should I go to the grocery store? Should I Postmates? Um, definitely need some groceries, so. I don't know should i go to the grocery store i haven't been to the grocery store in so long because <laughs> i always just postmates um also found these maybe make chicken taquitos for dinner with like some rice and veggies on the side i'm still on my dairy free journey and that doesn't have any dairy also just learned that mayo does not have dairy i don't know should i go to the store i hate the store Okay, groceries have been ordered. Um, it is 4.09. So I think we're gonna go to the park and then come back and hang out. I need to start laundry when I get back too because I'm like running out of socks. <laughs> socks and underwear, that's when you know it's time to do laundry. She really liked these last night. Very smelly. Always have to have headphones. Got Willow's bag for treats. Yesterday we went to the park and there was like this loud, you know the sparklets water trucks? It made a delivery right by the park and then it just sat there the whole time we were there. Like it was just sitting in someone's driveway or something and the sound was scaring willow so she like was not having it so we weren't there for very long but hopefully these treats will get her to play longer also need her water i'm gonna bring myself a sparkling water and we're ready to go. I don't trust her today. She's not listening very well. She almost ran into the street. Willow, target! He's on one. He, what the fuck? Right. Target! I found a ladybug. are my sign from the universe I asked you know you have to ask the universe for a sign I haven't asked recently but the last time I asked it was for a ladybug so I don't know if this is my sign or what
are starting dinner. I'm getting the rice out of the way. It's just gonna be like a little side. Um, I also have like veggies that I wanna cook on the side. I don't know if I'm getting myself into too much work. We'll see. I'm gonna turn on a podcast and chop some veggies and pour myself some wine. It's not cold yet, but I've been dying for a glass. Are the best way to meet someone. A setup. Mutual setup. Yeah. But more than Lauren, I feel like are so. I feel like we're always on our agenda. I'm crying so bad. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. Now, here's the good news about the forthcoming album. And but you have to see my which, chop. Uh, it's being described as a kind of Kelly Clarkson meets Katie Perry. Ooh, beauty. Ooh. Put me in, coach. You can't continue with that and be on the show. It just doesn't work. Yeah. Alrighty, guys, update. It's looking good. These are, what are they called? Taquitos, holy crap. Okay, I'm trying to brown them all. The filling is delicious, by the way. Hmm. I'll link the recipe in the description. All right, no cheese meal. The rice turned out. Mm. So good. I took a bite, but we topped with avocado, salsa, cilantro, taco sauce. It's delicious. And now I don't know what I'm gonna put on. I've been watching Down for Love. Maybe I'll put that on. Should I start this show? It looks really dumb, but. Willow, come in. Come on. Come on. She's being stubborn. Why is she being such a brat today? That show looked so stupid. I played not even five minutes of it so we're watching down for love it's the sweetest show ever and i'm watching the last episode at home luca is also rearing to go These have been my go-to dessert snack lately. They are so good. Um, I think they have a little bit of dairy in them, but not enough for it to really matter. Thank you. Thank you. I want to rinse off in the shower. I'm probably gonna wash my bangs. I just washed my hair yesterday and it already feels gross, which is really annoying. I need to get my hair done. Only eight o'clock, but that is when the bedtime wind down begins. It's like one of my favorite parts of the day. Put on a podcast, take a nice warm shower, reset my brain, and then crawl into bed. <laughs>
really likes to sleep with my robe, I think. I've left all my supplements and pills till right now. Come up, baby. I've gotten much better at taking pills since I've been taking four of these every day. It's the Nutrafol. You have to use it for like three months to really see results, but I will tell you that my hair shedding in the shower has like been cut in half. So that's promising. Losing less hair is the, the goal, right? Usually easier to go down when I'm standing, but... Oh, my mouth is cold because I just brushed my teeth. Come up the stairs. These make my doxy feel so much smaller. I used to have a hard time taking this. Now I'm taking four of these big guys a day. Oh shit. I did see a TikTok saying not to take your supplements at night because apparently someone was having stomach issues and they looked at her stomach and there were just like pills sitting in her stomach because they weren't digest digesting. So I probably should make a new habit. Assuming this isn't that great for me to be doing, but. And the melatonin starts kicking in. Okay, Daisy was like fully like a TikTok influencer before going on The Bachelor. You can't tell me that people don't go on these shows just to find love. How does that have 30,000 plays and only one fucking comment? We listen to ASMR every night to fall asleep. I actually like to turn it on while I read. Whispering Willows, my girly pop. Love her. I am reading Sometimes I Lie by Alice Feeney. It's my book month, book of the month club book choice. It is free on Kindle Unlimited if you guys want to join um, and read along. But it's about this woman who is in a coma and she can hear like what's going on and stuff but she can't wake up and it goes back and forth. It has the past right before it happened and then the present so i'm 50 percent of the way through it's really good and i think i know who the villain is at this point but i have no idea why or what is going on so i really like it the like past in the past she has like diary entries from when she was 11 and i really like when books do things like that <sighs> So I'm going to read until I fall asleep. Hand cream is like such an adult thing to do. Like, can you imagine, like, picture this. You're watching a, dr a family drama. The husband and wife are having an argument. Not a big argument, like a, dis a disagreement in their bedroom. The woman's like taking off her jewelry. She puts on hand cream. She's sitting on the edge of the bed putting hand cream on her hands while the husband is unbuttoning his shirt and they're having a heated discussion argument. That's just like so mature putting on hand cream. Anyways, I'm putting on hand cream myself because I'm 32 years old, I'm an adult. Um, okay, I think I've done all my bedtime steps. I'm not putting on my retainers. Don't tell my dentist. I don't feel like it tonight. I've been pretty good about them, but I don't. I didn't clean them during the day, and so it's too late now. All right, guys, I'm going to end this vlog here. I hope it's long enough. I worry that, like, just vlogging one day, it won't be long enough. But um, I hope you enjoyed. The podcast took up most of the day it feels like so i'll have to do this again on a day where i'm not recording the podcast maybe on a weekend but yeah thanks for watching um i appreciate all of your support and i will see you again soon i'm on a roll with vlogs so oh.
my battery's dying. That's my cue. <laughs> Bye guys.